does not seem to have controller support. So let's keyboard up. Uh, space, left shift, was camera is C, fires control. Okay. Oh, that's cool. These are all good looking vehicles. I like that one's very large, and I'm not sure what it is. I mean, that one is clearly, a, like, that looks like an A-Wing from Star Wars, I'm not going to lie. Um, not sure entirely what they were going with, uh, or going for with that one, but it looks cool. Uh, that looks like something out of uh, Wipeout. That looks like a, an X-Wing with his wings closed. Fighter jet. Um, this thing. I am off. I think I skipped another large one in there. Or yeah, it's my mouse being a mouse. But yeah, I guess if nothing else, we'll rotate through. Uh... We'll do one round on easy mode because I don't know what I'm doing. But I will uh, rotate through several of the vehicles and see what's up. Also, um, thank you to the devs. Uh, like I, I peeped this on email. It looked kind of interesting because I'm a sucker for. 80s vaporwave, uh, yeah, vaporwave stuff, and also vector style graphics, even though a lot of polygons for vector style graphics, but yeah, well, let's give it a look. Oh, don't fly into enemies. Oh, okay, easy mode is just a ton of lives, yeah, it's... Oops. Apparently exit goes all the way to, like, that's a full-on exit. I'm, I apologize. Yeah, that's, I do, I, I do appreciate the 696969 lives. But, um, yeah, let's pop that back in. Easy mode off. I tried to shoot. Maybe I can't shoot. It's honestly a little hard to see what's going on here. Okay, it appears like... Oh, I see. I think there's... Uh, I, I think I get it now. There's, set le there's just up and down levels. It's basically... Like timing your up and down like the I didn't get up and fast enough so although there seems to be some in the middle so like this guy maybe there's three layers yeah okay that makes sense I've seen like lightning bolt ones. Oh, thought I was just low enough. Okay. Okay, and then restart takes you back to the menu. Okay, so uh, we'll change vehicle. We'll try normal mode. Oh, maybe normal versus whatever determines the visuals, which are, it's a lot harder to see in the dark here, so maybe we'll stick to star mode. Okay, and you can get over far, I guess, okay, your main body is probably your hitbox, so... I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so you basically you basically have two vertices of evasion. That makes more sense now. But I think we're gonna stick to star mode. 
a little more frequently. Because this is, yeah. Oh, I love how normal is the hardcore mode, basically. Different ships definitely do have different uh, acceleration as well. Right. I don't know. I'm kind of annoying that it dumps you all the way back to your. Uh, like the default ship. But, you know. Let's get off my back. Oh, there's a camera change too? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's first person and less first person. Got it. And the honestly, first person is terrifying, so. That was, yeah. You gotta get kind of fiddly here and there. You do get a better perspective of what you're more likely to hit in this mode, I'll say that much. Or this camera, I should say. Oh, thought I could get back up. That was apparently not happening. Still a little difficult to see, like the red planes against the orange and whatnot. Not always the smallest surprise. Oh, hey, we got to a new area. Cool. So that guy was like straight up crossing things. Oh, at least we found a new, sp uh, new spot. Okay, uh, change vehicle. I want to do one of the uh, like the big ones. Like, what is this supposed to be? It's just, okay, it's just big engines. I wonder if the hitbox is actually smaller because the. I'm trying to get whatever that yellow thing was. But I feel like that might be why we haven't been able to fire. Well, I'm gonna run into this stuff, that's for sure. Get out of this. You see, there different ascend and descend rates too. Like this one's kind of slow to go down. Well, I have just been tapping and not like slamming. Oh, hey, I saw the heart's probably a life power up. Yeah, I wonder if that just varies by your max speed or something. That's interesting. The so slow, easier to hit, but like slightly better control. I don't know what I... Maybe I got shot. I'm not sure what I hit there. Or maybe I lowered too soon after thinking I was clear. Oh. I wanted the orb. Yeah, the left and right doesn't seem to matter too much except with, uh, like, cars. So if you want to, like, hang out low... Actually, pretty easy to do. All right, lightning bolt. Got something. <laughs> Died. But we got something. Okay, uh, let's see what the other huge one is. Literally a box. Is he hitting what? We're just going it. This thing goes hell of fast. Like, it's just, it's just going faster and faster. Because it's like all, I think it's just because it's like all mass. 
Or oh, maybe, it was, oh, maybe it was the lightning bolt we picked up. That could have been like a high speed power up or something. I wanted to see what the green was. Kind of wish there was a little explainer. Maybe there was and I missed it. But I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's very, like it's, it's got that whole arcade feel because of it, actually. Like, I know that plane fell off track, or bouncy plane that doesn't know what it's doing is actually like an obstacle. Specifically, we're actually doing pretty good in this behemoth. There goes nothing. Oh my god! I just barely dodged that one, dude. I think we're definitely making it to Route 66. I was I would not think the biggest vehicle would be our sweet spot, but here we are. Oh, I missed the orb again. Curse the orb. Oh no. I didn't think there'd be more Actually I I I think there's more altitude to work with here too. Stupid taxi. Try to get to area three at least. Just as he misses a power up. Clearly an extra life of some sort. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be high enough to clear that last blue dude. This is like, this is really nice though, it's very chill. Still vaporwave tunes to study and go fast to. Because I think the music technically isn't actually vaporwave in some cases. There are rules. Thought I didn't hit space a second time, I was about to go higher. Don't do that. No bouncy. Palm Springs. Uh, that is a ship, not an orb. I feel like, my, like literally, my only complaint would be having maybe some more, especially in normal mode, and maybe a little more of an outline on things, especially the power-ups. And as for this, uh, this Light Brigade beer, decent, nothing amazing, not my favorite trooper. I, th I think the, uh, the Hallowed is probably my favorite thus far, also the best bottle. But it's also a fairly, uh, it's also like only 4.1% basic lager, hence the light. But, uh, yeah, game-wise, yeah. Like, if, if things were a little clearer to see, it would be that much more fun. But I, I, I like, I'm liking the basic concept here. And, um, yeah, uh, I think, it, again, it's just launched, so there's room for evolution. I don't know if it's in early access, but nothing else. At least it just went live on Steam. I'm kind of curious if this goes faster than some of the other ones. I also, I do love the little, like, the little header scroll-ins. It's great. But yeah, this is definitely faster. So I, I, I like that the uh, the vehicle you pick is also basically your difficulty. All right, apparently my, uh... Alright, so your hitbox actually varies from ship to ship, like, for some was getting away with tip, tip, t uh, tipping wings and whatnot. I feel like I'm hitting invisible barriers or something, this is weird. That or maybe my joystick is just acting up and actually does it interact with mine. Alright, but we got extra life, so that's cool. Game over. 
Yeah, Jet not my favorite, but I like I like that the it's kind of a difficulty select and not just a style choice, which is cool. All right, but yeah, Vaporfly, pretty decent. And I've judging by the Impress VR logo, I'm gonna guess it has VR support. I'm just 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 a hunch. Uh, thanks again for the. Uh, the code, and I kind of wish there's a credits option in here somewhere, but... Oh, clicking logo does bring up pages for the stuff listed there, so... 